Hello and welcome to a... I, I, I don't even know if this is an episode, honestly. I, I don't know what to call this. I know it's a video, but... I mean, we're not doing a game, but we are talking. And this story is actually about one of our friends. And I am actually joined by Novastar. Say hi, Novastar. Hello. My audio may sound terrible. Um, we're testing out some stuff with Skype. And it may sound terrible, but... He's probably going to do most of the talking anyways. Yeah. So, okay. This story takes place in our kick chat. K-I-K. With all of our other friends. We have Bumpkin. We have John Cena wannabe. We have Cammy. We have um, uh, Mr. Oh, we have Paints a lot. Um, Paint it black. Yeah, I call him Paints a lot, and he's the one that actually started this story. He's the reason because of this. Um, and who else is under? Oh yeah, then we got this new guy called him. Uh, I'm a. Uh... It, it doesn't matter who's all on our cake chat. Well, he doesn't. No, he doesn't go to school, so his name's Neil. So Neil, if you watch this video, what's up, man? Yeah. Well, anyways, back we can go to start the story. Yeah. Um, they... Okay. So you want to start it, or should I start it? Um, basically, it all started with a picture <laughs> sent by, um, uh, Paints a lot. By Paints a lot, yeah. And, and um, it was it involved pumpkins, and in the bottom screen of the pumpkin pictures, there was this guy. We can't show the picture because of profanity. Oh, yeah. There was this and guy, uh, oh, yeah, oh, my God, yes. So this guy was, you can't see my fingers, I'm a Novastar can. He was, uh, how do I put it? Intercourse. No, I, I, he was carving the pumpkin. With his area. Exactly. He was carving the pumpkin with a special knife. <laughs> yes, I said it. <laughs> um, and bump, bump Bumpkin you. said, oh, that, the fourth picture would be me. And I was off the now, chat at the moment, and no one else noticed this. The reason he said that was he didn't come up, actually look at the picture good enough. Like he, he thought he was carrying the pumpkin. He thought he was yeah. He thought he was carrying the pumpkin. Not, not I'm uh, that. carving the pumpkin. But I, yeah. I okay. So what happened? What else happened? Because I was on the chat this time, and I go back. I'm like new images. I'm like oh god, oh god. And then I go down to the next one, I'm like, oh, and I look at the, ch the comment below it, and Bumpkin's like, that would be me, I'm like, Kevin, he's like, what? I was like, you, a pumpkin? He's like, what? I was like, the picture up there of the guy, I'm a carving the pumpkin. You said that'd be you. He's like, what? He goes up and looks at it, and he's like, no, I didn't realize that. I thought he was curious. I was like, you said you would carve a pumpkin. Carve meaning a... And wink, wink. now, now he keeps putting pictures in our kit chat saying eight out of eight would smash. Yes, <laughs> and he did and give consent good. to tell the now story. He, yes, he did give us consent to tell, talk about this. But he's also started to do um, uh, liking watermelons too. Oh God! He's posting watermelons. I'm pretty sure there's a racist black joke here. Just I can't make it because it's YouTube. And he's not black. And he's not black. He is white. I call him Sir Lumberjack in our spare time. Uh, he, yeah. He's Lumberjack and he's proud. <laughs> like, Nova Star is Nova and he's proud. I ex I'm an exploding sun. Yes, yes, Yay. he is. I'm Weeboo and I'm proud. Yo, what? You remember that thing that Miranda used to call me Weeboo? Oh, yeah. I'm Weeboo and I'm proud. I'm freaking saying on YouTube. I'm not ashamed of that. It is don't even know what that means. Search it up. I'm doing that right now. He's doing that right now. But yes, as he searches that up, and he's like denying that, like, no, he's not. And I kept messing with him about it, saying, "Hey, hey, Kevin, I got something that'll turn you on." He's like, "What?" I was like, "I sent, I sent a picture of a pumpkin." I was like, "So, you turned on yet?" He's, that's when the whole 8 out of 8 would smash came into play. Yeah. Let's see. Urban Dictionary. What does it say? Don't read it out loud. I want them to figure it out. 
Oh, this is definitely you. I know, right? Everyone of you is a Yato god. Yeah, that's why I'm a Skype. That's why I'm a freaking. That's smite. Yeah, my Smite name. My, my Skype name. If you guys want to Skype me, should I tell no. my Skype name? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna. The first part of it is Yato. Yeah, he's really into Yato right now. Okay, that's Wait, that makes me sound gay. It's an anime, which it's Anna Gay. Shut up! The only anime I like is, is Dragon from, Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball, and I've barely gotten into it. And I'm pretty I, sure if he would have gotten into Nor Niorigami, which is a very good anime, I suggest it for anyone that likes anime, it is a really good one. It has a lot of mansion, suspense, and it has the crucial elements to an actually good telling story. I was never really able to get into anime stuff. I tried Fairy Tale. I tried Attack on Titan. I've never tried Fairy Tale. Is it good? Uh, our, our friend painted um uh, tried showed it to me, and I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't into it. I've but, seen it on anime vines, but I'm like, eh. it has moments. I'm like, eh. I never tried One Piece. the The only video of One Piece I saw was the one where um uh, it's the um uh, guy. From I can't stop staring at this oh, pumpkin. With, yeah, I'm on my tablet. I'm not on that right now. I can't but, stop staring at this pumpkin and not not think of freaking bumpkin. I can just only, I can hear him right now saying eight out of eight would smash. The only thing with the with one piece that I watched was that that battle royale between Goku, the guy from One Piece, and that other guy I don't remember the name of. Yeah. I'm a Luffy, Goku, and God. I mentioned that in another video, and I'm, I still don't know the name. <laughs> and I searched it up. I searched it up and watched it right after watching that video. Yeah, that he the, did. That was the Frieza talk. Yeah, it was. But I'm a. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you know what Weibo is, comment what it is, and if you don't, search it up. My friend Miranda calls me that. I figured it would be bad, so I used Urban Dictionary. <laughs> it's not bad, per se, I guess. It's, Which, cult, it's cultured. It, I wouldn't say it's cultured either. I'd say it's unique. Uh, it's uniquely weird of a word. It's like a weird word. It's fun to say, though. It's fun to say, though. Weeboo. Sounds like you're saying something completely different. What does it sound like I'm saying? Something I don't want to say. Wee boo, wee boo. Add another B to it. Wee boob. <laughs> uh, you can't see, but my arms are up. Oh, that reminds that reminds me of a story. Me and him were in math class one day last year, oh, and God. I was playing around with a calculator. You know how those things you type stuff into the calculator, flip it upside down, and it says hello. Yeah. Oh God. Um. Finish the story. I, I did a math problem on it. I told him hit enter and then flip it upside down. And what does he do? He flips it upside down, throws the calculator down, throws his arms up in the air in the middle of math class, and screams... Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> and the girl in front of me looks at me weird and it's like, what? I was like, I show her the calculator. By the way, the friend, um, uh, she's been my friend since freshman year, and I actually have a story about her. I'm not going to mention her name. I'm, uh, I'm just going to call her um, uh, AK. She. Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember who it is, so. Um, I'll tell you in the chat right now. We, we're actually on a chat that we have. Um, give me a minute. I'm sorry if this is um, uh, stopping from the video. It's unprofessionalism. Well, you got to know who it is that we know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, basically, she had scissors, and I, I was sitting there next to her, and what she started doing was cutting my arm hair, and she cut, like, a huge I, line. I, okay, I remember this now. Yes, she cut a huge line down my arm just from my arm hair and a pair of scissors, and her friend was like, you know, she could cut your arm off. I was like, yeah, but I trust her. Um, what did she start doing? She starts cutting the hair off my arm. And it took about a year for it to fully grow back to what it was. Yeah. It barely grew back that. last year. I we have also, tons of stories. 
I also remember in geometry. Oh God, what? Somehow he passed the class with a B. I know, right? I would sit there and all, do nothing but play did, on my phone. He hardly did the homework. He barely passed the test. Hey, I blame Ringetto for that, okay? The stupid little circle thing. Yeah, but he was on his phone most of the time. Playing Injustice. We had we had a student teacher, and that was the only time. He wasn't on his phone. Actually, no, because... I was still on my phone then too. Okay, yeah, but he was actually he was on his phone less because the student teacher would call him out on it. Yeah, but he they were, okay. Our teacher and the student teacher and I were pretty chill. We were all chill. Mainly the actual geometry teacher, who is now my algebra two teacher. So I'm like, yes. And my statistics teacher because. Yeah. Our last, okay, I, can I, I just tell a story? Not. Can I tell a story about when I passed out? Oh, please do. Okay, so, prior to the... Still on the pumpkin, right? Yeah, I'm still on the pumpkin. I have no other slides. So, all right, now our viewers are staring at a pumpkin, and we're telling these that, random stories. That was the only story we had, had planned, and I, now it turned into this. Yeah, it's random story time, but I mean, these are funny stories, and I know, I know Nightwing's going to laugh when she watches this. Yeah. And uh, this story, the story was last year, and I was actually absent that day. And my friend Rusty literally saw me fall and didn't even come to help me. Okay, so the story goes, the day or two before this, I hadn't been sleeping very well. I had been staying up, like, really late, and I couldn't sleep. For some reason, I just couldn't sleep. I know the reason. Shut up, no star. <laughs> we... I know the reason. <laughs> um, I know the no, it wasn't that. What was it then? Um, it's the thing we're using right now. You oh YouTube. No, I was thinking more of Skype. Oh. Oh, that's right, I was still dating her, huh? Yes, you were dating. <laughs> that's right, that happened during the time I was dating her. Yes, it did. Yeah. Um, so I had not been sleeping well the past few nights and didn't I pass out on like a Monday? Uh, I, no, it hadn't been a Thursday, because I was absent there. Right, dance appointment. Yes. And I hadn't been sleeping well. And also, prior to that, I worked out for three hours, because my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend now, was, like, completely gone. She had her graduation party, because she graduated from high school. And was gone for, like, three hours, and you don't leave me alone for three hours unattended, <laughs> or else something stupid's gonna happen. Which was Hence how this long. channel was made. Yeah, so you want to tell it? Yes, um, basically I, was, I, I started lifting and working out like non-stop for three hours straight. And I was worn out, I was like, okay, I'm fine. I slept good that night. I didn't feel so hot the next day, but I was doing fine. And six period comes along, I'm like, oh God. And I got in light head a few times before that. And in other classes, but I mean, never blackout series. And I go, I'm like, you know, I can't taste anymore. I'm going to go ask the teacher if I can go see the nurse. And now get this, there's a guy in the back who, a good friend of mine, I'm going to call him uh, N. NR. NR? Yeah. He we was the have, only we one. We don't have nicknames for all of our friends that we mentioned. Yeah. But um, uh, he was the only one that saw me um, uh, pass out and fall. Now, here's where it gets really messed up. My friend Rusty, as I said, I kind of like passed out and fell right in front of his desk. And he thought I was just messing around. He doesn't even come to check on me. And the guy in R in the back, who was a good friend, who was in my Agnet class, goes and checks on me after I didn't get up after like a minute. And here's the thing. I fell almost like right in front of the teacher's desk. And she was there. And she didn't even freaking notice me. <laughs> She didn't notice until NR came to check on you. Yes, and then she had the audacity to ask, Are you okay? Do you want me to call and have them take you to the nurse? And you were, you were blacked out at the time, were you? I was blacked out. Like, I had just come to barely, and then I wake up to him, uh, NR saying, Batman, are you okay? I was about to say my name. <laughs> are you okay, man? <laughs> Shaking me, and I thought I fell asleep at my desk. And then I feel the ground, I'm like... My, my desk is not rough and fluffy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh god, I'm on the ground! <laughs> and I sit up and I'm like, wait, what's going on? And then I was like, dude, you passed out. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. I was, I was at a dentist appointment at that time. 
And Rusty filled me in on everything. Yeah, and then the next day I asked Joe Star, hey, if I would have passed out, would you have him uh, check to see if I was okay? He said no. He would thought I was messing around. I didn't like well, the class of the teacher. A, that's the same thing Rusty thought. Yeah, you douchebags. Yeah. I'm, uh, because I didn't like the class, and I didn't, I didn't like the teacher. Like, she just rubbed me the wrong way. I did not like her. And the fact that I was passed out literally next to her desk on the floor, which, if I would have walked in, I could easily have seen the floor in front of her desk. I would have seen me on the ground. So how do you not see a teenager next to you? I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I, okay, I'm going to be honest here. I failed that class. I'm taking that class now. But I have my favorite teacher back for math, and that's a, that's a, good, it's a good ending for that. It's I guess. the same teacher from uh, geometry. <laughs> who passed him with a B somehow. I know, right? Teacher's chill, dude. But I'm uh, we're gonna wrap up. But I think I want Noah to start tell one more story about what happened at school. Just something that happened that you remember. Because uh, uh, a lot, a lot one story in my mind, but I do not want to talk about it, but especially right now. You probably know what it is. Is it about the thing that happened with the thing that we had to go to the thing and miss school for? Uh, yeah, that's I. Uh, Every time we do these videos, I keep falling over my head. Like, no, I cannot tell that story yet. When can we tell that story? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just don't want to. I mean, if you guys don't want to, I can easily tell it. I mean, not right now in this video, but. Yeah, this video is going on pretty long, especially yeah. for just a talking episode. That was originally supposed to be one story. About a uh, friend. Who apparently likes to um, uh, carve his pumpkins? I told him that I'd come to school again. Okay, and we're gonna finish off the story, and there's the continuation to the story. I told him on the chat the next day. I was like, "Hey, pumpkin." He was like, "What?" I was like, "I'm gonna come to school with a pumpkin with a hole in it, and I'm gonna give it to you." And he said, "Eight out of eight would smash." So I mean, if I even if I called him up right now, which he probably won't answer. But if I did, and I told him, hey, we're recording right now, and hey, what's your response to him, uh, a pumpkin? He, and I, if I put him on speaker, he would say, 8 out of 8 would smash. Oh. Um, uh, in the first time he um, uh, did it, um, uh, I went into a different chat room with, that was just me and me and Pumpkin, and um, uh, Batman posted a picture of this little tiny pumpkin, and I told him, I told him, say it's too small. Oh, wow. Yes, I told him to say that. Alright, so... I, I guess we can't... Also, I guess we can't tell that one story, because this is like one of those um, uh, fun, crazy story ones, not sad, depressing ones. Because it's, it's a sad it, story. It's too personal. It, it's, it's personal, personal. and it's a, it's a bit sad. Yeah. But, either way, yeah. we're not going to end on a sad note. We're going to end on a high note with... Boomies! And on that note, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm no Bye. Longer. I'm Batman. Bye. 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 Time for Tilly. Bye bye.